Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, even Dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thanks again so much for being here and welcome back. Today I'm so excited to get to share with you the Authentic Books special Valentine's Day box. Now this was created in addition to the regular monthly subscription. And at first I told myself to go ahead and skip it just for budgetary purposes, but also I already have a really big to be read pile. But the FOMO with Authentic Books is strong because she does such a fantastic job curating these boxes. And I thought that the selected book for this box looked really sweet and cute, so I went for it. The box did actually arrive in time for Valentine's Day. It showed up on Valentine's Day. I just haven't had the opportunity to open it up until now. Now, if you haven't already seen some of my regular unboxings of Authentic Books, definitely check it out. You can still get in on the March box. Usually you get to choose between two different books, which I think is really nice in terms of making sure that you're going to get something you really want to read. And there's three different subscription tiers starting all the way from $39 up to $59. And then she curates it around the idea of tantalizing all of the senses, which I think is so unique and again, so well done. So definitely check it out, you guys. I think you'll really enjoy it. It's a great way of having a nice combo of a book subscription and really a lifestyle subscription. Now this one that I have here is basically the equivalent of a premium box, so it's going to have all of the things and all of the options, so I'm really excited to see. Now if you didn't already see the thumbnail, I thought she did such a nice job of adding that special touch of actually wrapping the box, but I also already took the wrapping paper off so that we could dive into it a little bit sooner. And then once I got that wrapping paper off, I got the classic authentic books box, which is so lovely. And again, the presentation for this box is always so well done. Even even inside they have a printed box so I just think that adds to the experience and then she's always got this really nice sort of product pamphlet that kind of guides you through so right here you see on the cover that this is the book that was selected a pho love story by Loan Lee and then it tells us inside all of the things that are included and it does actually look like there were different subscription tiers so I thought all of the boxes were the premium level but it looks like there were in fact many full and premium experiences so I think that is really nice as well to sort of let you make it work with whatever budget you have and then we always have our little book cocktail that goes in there because with the um, full and premium boxes you get to choose between a tea or a cocktail ingredient I always choose the cocktail ingredient of course and then there's always a recipe the story eats that is probably gonna be inspired by something pho which I love and it is a recipe to make pho which I just feel like is there's so much that goes into that I, I feel like I leave it to the experts and go and get some takeout pho probably versus trying it at at home so I'm just gonna prop this little guy up in front of me so that I can show you all of the awesome products that we got as we get into it let me just remove a little tissue paper so you can see we've got all of our purple shred and then everything nestled nicely inside this box is pretty hefty so feels like she managed to put a lot of stuff in there so the first thing I am seeing looks to be one of our like self-care items and these are always for the sense of touch and there is one in the mini box there is two in the uh, full box and then three in the premium box and I'll figure out which one this is so let me first open it up. So this looks to be a sugar scrub and this was touch number two. So this appeared in the full and premium boxes. And it's very pretty. It's by Luminous. It's a love story. It's sea salt and essential oils, bath salts, five ounces. And it's this lovely lavender color. And it does Let's see, it just says, a love story is a bath salt with scents of lavender and cotton. That sounds nice. Treat yourself to this Valentine's Day with a luxurious bath. Doesn't necessarily have a page number that corresponds to, but again, it's just a nice way of kind of relaxing and making this box sort of part of your self-care routine. And then the biggest thing that's hi kind of hiding over here in the corner, so let me get to that, is this uh, pour over set, some Vietnamese coffee, which is going to be awesome. I love Vietnamese coffee. I've never actually done one of these little kits. Now this is in the flavor of churro latte. It does say on the box that it's a woman owned, sustainably sourced product of California, and it's by Copper Cow Coffee. So really nice packaging. And you can kind of see, it's got all of the information about the coffee and the California milk, and even tells us that 
there are five servings in this box, which is great. So if you don't perfect it the first time, you can try, try again. So I believe that this appeared in, so this was the option. Instead of a tea, it was the Vietnamese coffee or the cocktail mixer. And that was in the full and premium boxes. So I'm really happy to have the Vietnamese coffee. Normally I would choose the cocktail mixer, but this was just kind of different. Uh, so I went with this one. Now let's see what else we've got. We have got our candle. Now this is great because this is for the sense of smell, obviously, but the candle appears in all of the boxes. So it's even in the mini box. This is very cute. It's by the Price Collective, which is the candle company that she works with a lot. And it says crazy faux you or faux you. And it's very, very cute. The little sticker that they put on it. It's just a little soy candle. It says it's a blend of ginger and saffron, the sweet smell of a love filled family restaurant. Look closely and you will see rose petals and gold flakes. Oh, we'll have to look. So let me show you. I always show you over on Instagram as well. So you can see some of them are a little loose. I don't want any gold floating around in here, but so pretty. Let's give it a little smell too. So, wow, it does, you can definitely smell the ginger and the saffron. It smells like a great broth that's kind of getting going. So that will probably make me a little bit hungry, but it will definitely create the atmosphere that's appropriate for reading this lovely book once we get down to it, which is probably hiding at the bottom, of course. Now, it looks like I've got another, maybe this is a self-care item. This is a Simply Essentials hand cream, and it looks like it is uh, made just for authentic books for the Tet holiday. So look, that's cute. It came in this little tin. This is only in the premium box, so this was touch number three. It says, Tet holiday is a citrusy twist on a traditional rose fragrance with notes of bergamot, orange, grapefruit, dried rose petals, jasmine, sandalwood, and musk. So that sounds good to me because, as you know, I'm not a huge fan of rose sense but when you mix it with other things then I think it's it's actually kind of nice so let me go ahead and open this up and see what it smells like and I do really like having a good hand cream and then it's got a little seal on top Ooh, it's very like soft and silky and luxurious so I won't put any on right now Ooh, that smells so good you guys I can definitely smell the orange and grapefruit in there and I love citrusy scents so I'm really excited about this and my hands have been a little bit dry I might use a little bit on the tops of my feet too which have also been a little bit dry with the cold weather so that's a lovely lovely item I'm really excited about that and that's another reason why it's great to get the premium and not not feel the FOMO not miss out on any of the good stuff that goes in here now it looks like we've got a little like lifestyle product here, like a little kitchen towel. And you guys, it's personalized. This is so amazing. She did this in the holiday box as well. There was like a personalized ornament. I cannot believe it. So it says Noelle's Kitchen. No umlaut, which is a little bit of a bummer, of course, but this is so cute. And this is really soft. It's like a waffle texture, but like really, really soft. Feels like it's going to be really absorbent as well, which is really nice because I feel like a lot of times we get like decorative of tea towels that aren't really that functional and don't actually dry things including your hands so I think that's so cute definitely not regiftable because it's got my name on it um, but that is an amazing little thing and I don't even actually see that like on the uh, on the sheet I feel like that's just like a surprise extra that she included because it's not it's not actually in here I'm guessing that's probably only in the premium experience but wow how awesome is that to get a personalized item in a box then they always have a bookmark that is made specifically for that book and I like to have all of my books from Authentic Books lined up on my bookshelf with all the gorgeous silky tassels hanging out. So it's always got a quote. It says, my heart pounds. I inhale sharply. In different circumstances, this could happen. And that is from the book and it's very lovely. You can see all those basil leaves along the corners and of course a nice steaming bowl of pho. So a very cute bookmark. We have a lip mask from Avatara Dainty Rose. So that definitely goes with the Valentine's thing, even though you guys know I'm not like a huge rose fan. I'm guessing that this is the touch or self-care item that was in all of the boxes. Yes, so this was the one that you would have received in the mini box as well. Indulge your lips with this sweet mask formulated with rose and aloe extracts for a soft, perfect, well, I'm guessing it means for that last final real kiss. So missing a little word there, but we know what, what they're talking about. So you can make your lips nice and soft 
soft and ready to pucker up. <laughs> All right, and then there's always a playlist as well. So this is a good indicator of what you would receive in the regular monthly box. The main difference is that with the monthly box, you actually get to choose the book that you receive. So it always comes in this cute little envelope and then there is a nice Spotify playlist to help you really get in the mood. I don't usually listen to the playlists while I'm reading because usually they're so good that I get distracted and I find myself just listening to the music versus actually immersing myself in the reading. But she just gives you the little like QR code that you just, you know, if you're in Spotify, you just click on the little camera in the search bar and that's how you're able to um, find it easily without having to actually type anything in. Now the other reason that I really like the premium box, you guys, is because there's usually a second taste, which means you get not just the cocktail or the tea, or in this case, we got the Vietnamese coffee, you also get chocolate. And we often get chocolate from this brand, which is Compartes, and they always have amazing packaging. It's always gorgeous, and it's always gone very quickly. My husband seems to know where I keep all of these chocolate bars, and he's always like, can I have this one? Can I have this one? And they never manage to make it through the entire reading of the book, <laughs> at least not in my house. So this one says California love and it's dark chocolate pretzels, you guys. And look at all the palm trees. Definitely has those Southern California vibes, I believe. So I love that. And it's a it, again, dark chocolate says California love is that golden sunset glow, crunchy salted pretzels and chocolate. You know you want to go. So I definitely want to eat it. I know that much. Uh, it does say that there's two servings in the container. So maybe I'll share and be nice since it is still technically a Valentine's box. And then we finally got to our book, which is a hardcover, and I am now a hardcover snob if you haven't seen any of my other unboxings. I appreciate the price point of, of paperbacks, but I really loved having these hardbacks again. I think it's just so nice on my bookshelf. And she always does this nice little authentic book seal as well, which I think is kind of cute and inconspicuous in a fun way of remembering where you received the book and also maybe just to remind you that you might have some of these items still that accompany the book to really, again, enrich the experience. So sometimes we get a book plate or a signed copy and we did in fact get a nice signed book plate in here and it looks like you guys we also got like a little note which I think is so amazing from the author. So it's the authentic books exclusive author's note that's so cute and so cool to keep in here. And it's actually in her handwriting, which is awesome. It says, Dear Authentic Reader, thank you for choosing a full love story. I hope you'll root for Lin and Bao as they fall in love, chase their dreams, and come to understand the love and sacrifices of their families. Oh, and I hope you won't get too hungry. Be well. That is such a nice touch. I think that is amazing. And the value, honestly, you guys, even though she doesn't have the retail values of these items, I think it's so, so good. And again, she always donates as well 15% of the proceeds of the regular subscription to whatever organization she has chosen for that quarter. And I believe, let me see if it's on here. For this quarter, it is the Charles Darwin Foundation supporting the conservation of the Galapagos Islands. So you guys know I love any box that gives back as well. And that was kind of inspired by one of the uh, books that was a choice for a past box. So let's just go over all of the awesome stuff that we got in this special Valentine's box. I'm so excited to read that story. Let me just see if there's a little blurb for me to tell you about it. So it is on the back. It just says from Lynn, bow is a mystery to me there but not. In four years of high school we haven't had one class together as if our school administrators know of our family's rivalry and have conspired to keep us apart. And then from Bao, we're background characters in each other's stories. I wonder if it's possible for us to change up our scripts. What would me and Lin say to each other? Oh, this sounds so good, you guys. It says, if Bao Nguyen had to describe himself, he'd say he was a rock, steady and strong, but not particularly interesting. His grades are average, his social status unremarkable. He works at his parents' pho restaurant, and even there, he is his parents' fifth favorite employee. Not ideal. If Lin Mai had to describe herself, she'd say she was a firecracker, stable when unlit, but full of potential for joy and spark and fire. She loves art and dreams of pursuing a career in it. The only problem? Her parents rely on her in ways they're not willing to admit including working practically full-time at her family's pho restaurant. 
For years, the Mai's and the Wins have been at odds, having owned competing neighboring pho restaurants. Bao and Lin, who've avoided each other for most of their lives, both suspect that the feud stems from feelings much deeper than friendly competition. A chance encounter brings Lin and Bao in the same vicinity despite their best efforts, and sparks fly, leading them to both wonder what took so long for them to connect. But then, of course, they immediately remember. Can Lin and Bao find love in the midst of feuding families and complicated histories? Sounds like the perfect event. Valentine's story. Hopefully it doesn't have a Romeo and Juliet ending, but it's definitely got that, uh, you know, sense of family duty and kind of a, an, an interesting like Asian American story. So I'm really looking forward to checking it out. So we got that signed book with hardcover. We got the lip mask that appeared in all three levels. We got the hand poured soy candle, which smells amazing. And again, was in all three levels. Uh, instead of the cocktail mixer, which was a split tree mix of ginger vanilla cordial. Oh, that sounded really good too. I got the Vietnamese coffee kit, which I'm really excited to try. Uh, in the full and premium boxes, we got the sugar scrub, which is great. And I'm sure will smell nice, lavender and cotton. Then we got the hand cream from Simply. Uh, that was just in the premium boxes. This smells amazing, you guys, and looks so creamy and amazing. Uh, and then finally, we got Taste 2 in the premium boxes, which is these ca this California Love chocolate from Comparte. So, and we got that extra little tea towel, you guys. So, so cute. It's such a sweet touch. Definitely wasn't expecting that at all. And then the usual playlist and bookmark. So, so in love with authentic books and this just confirms like anytime she comes out with a special edition box I will probably try to find room in my budget for it because again I don't want to feel that FOMO. Let me know what you guys thought about this special box. If you've read the book let me know in the comments below. Tell me your favorite item. I would love to hear and hopefully I see you all very very soon in my next unboxing.